back. Random TV reviews. Your girl Lynette. And it's your boy Stanley. All right, we're coming in with something a little different. Love and Marriage Huntsville. The trailer dropped today on hey. their own network's YouTube cha um, channel here on YouTube. Really, bit hey. sent me the link while I'm getting my nails and my toes done. And I was like, what the? Yeah. She said, yo boy is showing out. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, bet, sis, what we going to do? We going to collaborate. You do a reaction of the trailer. We're not really doing reactions. We're not trying to get copyright. But yeah. we are going to talk about what we saw on the trailer. She's going to give her input. We're going to give ours. The mm. cross-referencing. So when you finish this video, go ahead and go over there and look at her video. We are premiering this video. So if you are watching it and you see the, the red premiere button, then get down in the chat and let us know that you're yeah. here. Say hey to us. We're going to be down in there as well, chopping it up with you as well. Hey. If you missed the premiere, then it's okay. That's all good. That's all good, man. Just go ahead and leave your comments down below. Y'all know how we do. We don't ignore you over here. We'll, we'll comment back to you. And if we can't comment back to you because it'd be too many of y'all, We'll leave a heart. Yeah. You'll never be ignored over him. All right. So, with all of that being <laughs> said, season two is actually going to start on February. No, September the seventh. Not February. Lord Jesus. September. We ain't trying to go backwards now. September seventh. The seventh. That's right around the corner, y'all. Right around the corner. Okay. So y'all know last season we left off. Pretty much on a positive note, my boy Maurice and Kimmy had gotten married. Mm. They had a beautiful wedding out there in Miami. We had the Holtz. He done messed up his leg and his ankle and all <laughs> that. And, you know, he was promising to get his skit together. And, you know, I ain't believe it. But, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you have Marceau and um, Letitia. She's doing her thug thizzle yeah. out there making moves in the business realm. And I was like, okay, so what can next year bring? Because I had been begging Carlos King. I was yeah. like, whatever y'all do, y'all need to bring this skit back. And then y'all need to have a reunion show. So yeah. after this season, Carlos. Reunion, bro. Reunion show. And I want to get flewed out. <laughs> <laughs> so go and put the request in right now. <laughs> I'm dry begging at this point. Let me stop. Yeah, we don't Y'all know. Say we don't submit it in a month and I ain't dry begging. I'm asking. <laughs> so you have not because you asked not. Pretty much. Yeah. So getting into the trailer. We're not going to hit everything in order, but we're going to talk about what we saw. It was only a minute and some change long. Yeah. So comeback group. We know last season that they actually put their differences aside and they mm -hmm. looked at the bigger picture, right? So they had decided they're going to work in their own lanes. Okay. And we're going to do what we do. And it seemed like they were doing what they all do. Yeah. Come this season, according to the trailer, they're going to they split do, up. They're going to split up and dissolve it. Like, what? So it looks like the Scots are on the left-hand side and the Holtz on the right-hand side. And they want to buy the Holtz out and continue doing business as the comeback group yeah. doing their initiative and melody was like i will dissolve this before <laughs> we be, we get bought out and i'm like what what happened yeah what happened yeah like did everybody's ego get back in the way yeah bad negotiations mm -hmm. like what happened because because Cause it's a good thing. It's a good. It's, thing. it's a real good thing. Hey, for it to be messed up. But, yeah, I ain't got but, no but money. Could I, but could I be in the group? Yeah, but you know, trailer, smoke and mirrors. It could have been something totally different. Pretty much. Yeah. Then we're gonna get to this big thing that I see is going to be the overall storyline this season. Is that Marto hmm. decided to put it out there in the universe that Marso. <laughs> been messing with possibly 20, 20 women's mm -hmm. shout yeah. out to Letitia's mom all huh. in cross man I hope Huntsville. it's bro I hope that ain't true but when he said it see we haven't really dug deep in it did y'all hear him say y'all yeah, like, act like I'm the only one who's y'all yeah who's y'all who y'all Y'all be talking about all the fellas. Are right? we talking about all the brothers? Or are we talking about y'all as a collective? Y'all keep saying I'm the only one that's cheap. 
Who? But if they are cheating, it's messed up that Martell and the rat and the bros out like that. You, you just because guys you don't got do that. Yeah, yeah. Cause just because you got caught, you don't mean you rat them out. That's why I think it's smoke and mirrors. So we'll we'll see with that. We and I'm like. My soul. Mar don't Mar let it beat you, cause you was hard on Martel, man. You was hard on him. Yeah. Yeah. You, so how you? <laughs> Matter of fact, you was the first one to back him up in the corner, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna tell him he ought not to it. be cheating on his woman. And now I hope you not cheating on your woman. Hello. And if any of you all watch Funky Dineva's channel, Funky Dineva been saying from the get go that, that <laughs> my soul don't want to tish out the house because he don't want her finding out what he doing out here in the streets. And I ain't want to believe no stuff like that. I was like, would you stop? These are so, like he said, that's some good man stuff out of. But, but at the same time, Martell is not a reliable source at this point. Hell no. Yeah, his, his authority. Hell no. His, star, his authority is going down. <laughs> yep. So, let's talk about, we talking about Mar Martel, we got him on the line. Him and Melody. That little ending that they did, and all the pictures we see all over social media, looking like um, Jay and Beyonce, number mm. two, you know, doing their thing. And I love black love. Trust me, I love do. Mm -hmm. But I ain't believe for a second and a half. Yeah. That, that just because you hurt your ankle now, you want to be faithful. Yeah. Everybody wants to be faithful when they hurt. <laughs> it's after the hurt. Do you still want to be faithful? Like um, Ayala said, I'm not gonna fight you for your Go healing, <laughs> beloved. beloved. <laughs> so it looks as if he Same old thing. habits still got are back. But he know he can turn around because she said the woman was calling. So he can turn around and be like, I can't help for them calling me. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Tell them to stop calling your phone. And the way that she said it, it sounds like it's a different woman. woman. Yeah, not the same time. one. So she's answering phone calls from hoes uh, once again <laughs> that's calling and asking for her husband. And she about sick and tired and she's don't put it on out there that she wants to file for her divorce. divorce. But I don't believe it though. No. I don't believe it at all. But she don't told Martel that she is possibly pregnant. And he said, Oh, that's good. That's real good. Hey, bring her closer together. No, no, no. What you are actually saying is, I know my wife, and I know that she gonna want me to be right here with this baby because mm -hmm. he is a good father. She mm -hmm. said it, everybody else has said it. Yeah. So no doubt. I don't I don't got her that trapped. <clears throat> Yep. Basically, that's what it sounds like. Ooh, that buys me a few more years with my wife. This is a good thing. Oh, no. Oh, she got an insurance policy on that divorce that she might be doing. Because you know you get extra money when you got a child and a divorce settlement. So maybe she might. Maybe this might be a, a business a move. A new baby. Yeah, maybe this might be a business move for old Melanie. A business baby? See, yeah, it's a big baby. People do it all the time. Yeah, but don't do that. Don't do don't that to do the that. kids, man. Don't do that to the kids. So, I'm hopeful that one day they would get their skit together, but... Because they all power couple when they... Yeah. yeah, I mean, look look, all of them is power couple. They all yeah. millionaires doing their thing out and there. And I like business. Melody. Yeah. I think she's a... I think, for one, she's smart. She's very she's smart. She's gorgeous. She, she has a drive like no other. Yeah. She deserves somebody that respects her. Mm -hmm. She really does. So, but like you said, I hope the whole show not like smoke and mirrors and they putting stuff right. together that's not true about their relationship to yeah. keep us watching. Let's not manufacture. Nah, nah let's not do that. that. So, hopefully, all this is is real, man. So, my favorite couple, my girl from the DMV, Kimmy, yeah. and Maurice, Maurice that was down there at. At his bachelor party. Getting it in, Getting boy. Getting it in. Drunk as hell. <laughs> Get ready to break strippers next. That Maurice. <laughs> that Maurice. Making it rain, Maurice. Making it rain. Man. Y'all had a good guy doing time. But um, Maurice and Kimmy have hit a little bump in the road. And that bump in the road is called ex-wife. Yeah. Ex-wife. Moving to Huntsville. She's moving to Huntsville permanently. <laughs> and of course, you know, we can all assume that it's for Monster. Mm -hmm. And that is... We hope. <laughs> and that's to bring Monster closer to his dad. Because we know from last season, 
it is Kimmy's desire to move forward in life mm -hmm. and to gain back the years that she put herself on the back burner to take care of her responsibility. Yeah. She went through school. She raised her son. Now she's at a point in life where she's like, boom, it's my yeah. time. So not for a minute that I thought that monster was going to move into the home permanently, not this soon, but that means that this is probably the next best thing mm -hmm. is to bring all of them closer. But it seems like uh, Masa's mama don't respect the bound. boundaries of their marriage. And I don't know what that means. Yeah, well, because wait, yeah. I never got the vibe that Masa's mom was mad or bitter or she yeah. wanted Maurice back or anything like that. Like she even got down in our comments on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> so she was good. Man. And um I mean she's she seemed like she was yeah. good. You know, because I made a joke about the wedding that they probably got married at the Masonic Lodge. And she was like, no we didn't. We got married at a church and had a beautiful I said but it all our yacht. Uh-huh. Yep. But <laughs> she seems like she's cool. Yeah. So I don't know what this is, and I can't wait to really get into it mm -hmm. and be able to see it all play out so I can give my own assumption, you know, from my standpoint. Hey. But let's go to the next set of characters here. Mari's brother. Hmm. Marcel. The person that came through and just changed everything. Like, I couldn't stand this boy. <laughs> I could not stand him. And then he became... Like, my second best dude. Yeah. Like, I yeah. understood my soul. Like, I was like, okay, I yeah, thought you was... Yeah, we tried out he had a plan. I thought yeah. you was a... Eh. Yeah. But, okay, you still an A. Yeah. But you but an A, a with, with a plan. plan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I a could, difference. And I couldn't deal difference. with you. I couldn't deal with you. <laughs> but she can. And, and that's cool with me. She got that anointment to she deal with you. She got the anointment to deal with you, not me, because I'll shoot you. <laughs> Um, Letitia's now trying to figure out is whatever Martel put out there in the streets about her husband. Hmm. Is this true? She went around and she asked uh, Melody, okay, basically, girl code, what you know? And Melody was basically in that. <laughs> <laughs> you you find out, you yourself, find out for yourself. Yourself. Like I found out for myself. And I was uh. like, is this your opportunity to glow? Like, I'm not the only one with a broken heart right now? Hmm. No, no, no. To hurt people like to hurt people. They do. That's the truth. So, Letitia goes and she asks her husband. And he said, I can't answer that for you. And I said, I know that this is bad <laughs> editing right here. Because if anybody can answer the question, it is yeah. you. Um, She's crying. And she was like, how could I be so stupid or something to that effect? Hmm. And I was like, I believe all of this is edited to make us yeah. believe that she don't found out some bull skip. That Marso cheated. First of all, true. you have to be a nympho, a serial cheater, as Melody would call Martel, yeah. to have 20 women under what? your belt throughout now, your marriage. Now, post-marriage? I mean, pre-marriage. Pre yeah. yeah. Pre-marriage? I can see that. I can see that. But post marriage, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how do you even work that? I don't know. Like yeah. even Martel, I don't think Martel has twenty holes in nah. the same area code. He got. He just got a couple of them in his back pocket. Couple so, too many. Yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait for September mm -hmm. the seventh because I want to know. What the hell is happening here? And I hope to God that they have not did anything to manufacture beefs, manufacture issues, manufacture storylines to keep... Because even though this is TV... Yeah. And you have to bring the drama and you have to make everything so amplified. Mm -hmm. These are still real people. Uh -huh. And these are people that their character shines through the camera mm -hmm. and I hope that TV doesn't change that. Like, TV doesn't get in the middle. One, ruin marriages for real. Mm -hmm. And two, make them start living something that, they're not. that isn't their real truth. Yeah. Um, and that's basically... Is that 100%, babe? Yeah, that's basically all I gotta really say about. Yeah, so, um... Y'all let us know what y'all think in the comments. So, if you didn't comment on the premiere... You can comment after premiere. Let y'all know. Let us know what you think. 
And we'll see y'all in September, man. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.